What's going on everyone, it's your rifle here, hey, I'm your rifle, and thanks for checking out this division video. And in this video I'm going to be going over the Liberator and the Packin, or however it's pronounced, which are two high-end weapons that could be purchased from the Dark Zone vendor in the beta at the safe house. Now don't get me wrong at all, we will be able to purchase these in the full game, I'm just stating that these were in the beta, as the high-end weapons that you could obtain. And as for the closed beta, well, that's a different story. Now, these high-end weapons could be purchased at the safe house for, of course, a pretty penny, especially for how long the beta was out. I mean, not everybody has that much time to be able to play the game that much, which is understandable. Hence, one of the reasons why I am actually making this video. A lot of people, believe it or not, wasn't able to get their hands on these weapons. Then again, these might have been easy for some of you to obtain, and that's also understandable. You gotta remember, there is many different people out there in the world. Just because it was easy for you to obtain, doesn't mean it's going to be easy for another person to obtain. But it seems like once you got a hold of these high-end weapons, in the beta at least, you just outgunned pretty much everybody because a lot of them didn't have the high-end weapons. I mean, the Dark Zone can definitely make it tough. And we can't forget about how you have to maintain your level and maintain your Dark Zone funds as well. You have to keep them up, because each of these guns is around 7,000, and also you have to be level 12 in order to buy these. And that was the max in the beta. Anywho, let's get into this. First off, I'm going to be starting with the Liberator, just because personally, that is my favorite out of these two. But... Hey, that's all a personal play style to me. I was actually playing with another player, and he was extremely good and had these two high-end weapons pretty early in the beta. And he actually preferred the pack-in over the Liberator. So that just goes to show right there, it all depends on the person's personal play style. So, anywho, as for the Liberator goes, with no modifiers attached to it, the DPS on mine was 3,569, the RPM was 850, and my mag was 30. Which, a lot of people actually complain about the magazine size on this, but I really don't, not too much anyways. And you can always just modify the weapon how you prefer. I actually had a specific magazine that allowed me to reload even quicker. So even though that magazine size might be a little short and you have to reload pretty frequently, if you have a faster reload, that shorter magazine won't be as much as a burden for you. Anyways, as for the looks go compared to the packing, a lot of people actually prefer that gold AK-47 look more. But hey, me personally, I actually still prefer this high-end assault rifle called the Liberator more. I like the size of this weapon, and I like the way it looks. But there is a lot more than meets the eye with these weapons, of course. They actually come with talents. To put more into a perspective for you guys, just consider these more like exotics from Destiny for all you Destiny players out there. And as you can see, they come with talents, which are basically special abilities on the gun. And well, they can go hand in hand with some of your techniques that you use. Like personally, I'm more of a skill based user, and that's what the Liberator is all about using your skills for kills, basically. As you can see here, weapon damage is increased by 5% for 10 seconds after using a skill. So that's nice. You go and use a tech bomb on an enemy, and then go and immediately try to gun them down. This is going to do a little more damage, which that can't go wrong. As for the next talent on this gun, it is called Dominant. Every kill performed while your signature skill is active reduces the cooldown of your other skills by 3%. And once again, like I was mentioning, this is more of a skill-based weapon. And I'm pretty sure you guys are seeing the point of that by now. Anywho, the next talent that it has is called Talented, which, as you can see, killing a target with this weapon increases skill power by 3% for 5 seconds. The effect does not stack, unfortunately, and killing a new target does refresh the timer. The overall stats of this weapon isn't bad at all. It's just more of a close-quarter kind of weapon, of course, as you guys can see the range isn't that great. Now I'm not saying you would use this as a shotgun, but the range is a little below average. But like I was mentioning before, you can change the stats on this weapon by getting specific modifiers to help you with your desires of how you want the weapon to 
be like. Anyways, I guess that's about wrapping up this Liberator high-end assault rifle. Up next on this list, I have for you guys the Packin the high-end light machine gun. Personally, not my favorite out of these two, but I'm not gonna completely shun this weapon away, just because I've heard some people actually loving this gun. And that just goes to show it's all personal playstyle. Anyways, let's get into this. The DPS I have on this weapon is 3086. As for the RPM goes, it's at 650. And as you guys can see, it has a little larger magazine size by 15 bullets. The more bullets you have, the more you can spray and the more damage you can unleash on your enemies. But same goes with the Liberator. It's more of an aggressive kind of weapon. Gotta get kind of up close and personal to them. I absolutely love how this weapon is detailed. The gold plate with a little bit of white in it, a little bit of black in it, and a little bit of brown. It just overall looks nice. A great blend with the weapon. Anywho, as for the talents go for this high-end light machine gun, it has Swift, which as you can see, reloading is 5% faster. It also has Destructive. Armor destruction value is increased by 5% when using this weapon. This gun could just be a dream come true to you. Then again, it could just be your worst nightmare, and you just wasted so much Dark Zone funds on this piece of crap that you're not even going to really use that much. It all depends on once again, I know I've said this like 50 times in this video, on how your playstyle is. Personally, I don't like the talents as much as I do with the Liberator. I find it more suitable on my playstyle. I love using the tech bombs. I am more of a skill based player, honestly. Actually, now that I think about what I'm saying, pretty much everybody is in the division. Relying on your skills that you can use definitely helps out a lot. But yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this review of these weapons. In case you guys don't know exactly on where to obtain these guns, they were located for me in the beta. I don't know if they're going to actually be located in the full game which is when you guys will be able to get your division fix on again. And that is March 8th. Oh, it's coming. It is coming. But anyways, it spawned in the safe house. And once again, it might not be the same case when the full game releases. But yeah, they're both level 8 high ends, and they can both kick some serious ass. I'm out of here though, everybody. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this review of the two high-end weapons that you could obtain in the beta. And I'm going to leave a friendly reminder at the end of the video. I know to some of you this may get annoying. But if you could, please remember to take a little bit of your time and leave a like. It's greatly appreciated, everybody. The likes that you have given me on my videos continue to help my channel rise. And for that, I can't thank you all enough. I seriously could not have got to my number without your guys' support. And don't think I sound like a suck-up. I mean, yeah, kind of I do. But seriously, I would not have got this far without you all. But this has been your rifle. And remember, everybody to stay safe out there. Hopefully I'll see you all around in my next video. Thanks for checking out my content, everyone. Peace.